Hey everyone, I hope you're well. It turns out you can still bunny hop heal. Not only that, but somehow V hopping without healing has had an unintended buff. I want to show you how you can bunny hop heal after the patch and also how to B hop faster than sprint speed. B hop healing is nowhere near as effective as it was before, but it still works and it can be done with any legend. And most importantly, it can be used to keep momentum while starting your heal, allowing you to move somewhere safer. Now, this is ultimately more situational than before, but in many cases, it can be used in the same way. With the latest change, you can no longer B hop out in the open forever, but in terms of gameplay, it's rare that you would really want to do that anyway. Before the latest patch that removed B hop healing you would not really want to be hop heal in the open instead it made more sense to be hop into cover whilst healing because that way you reduce the chance of taking more damage and you don't risk your B-Hop momentum being lost by getting shot. With the latest patch, you can only use it to B-Hop into cover. Let me explain how it's done. So for this to work, you need to build as much momentum as possible. To do this, you need to hop into a very wide arcing swing. Due to the nature of the new B-Hop nerf, you can no longer continue the momentum for very long whilst healing, but you should be able to get enough hops to at least get behind cover in most cases. The momentum nerf does not start until you begin your first hop while healing. This is really important. What this means is that you can hop, immediately press the heal button, then still build momentum with a big arcing swing. The next time you hop, you will lose momentum, and then even more for your next hops until you run out completely. But with this strategy, you will have a few hops worth of momentum, which is usually enough. So let me show you the process step by step, but slower. One, jump, then in mid-air, hold crouch. Two, whilst holding crouch, perform a wide arcing swing either left or right. I actually find it easier to face away from the direction you want to hop as much as possible. Then you turn inwards towards the right direction as you jump. 3. Time your next jump as you hit the ground to begin your B hop. 4. As soon as you start that first hop off the ground, press the heal button at the exact same time, or as soon as possible after. The quicker you heal, the better. 5. Continue your wide arcing turn. Because you haven't actually started your B hop since starting healing, you continue to build momentum here. 6. Continue to b-hop as you turn towards the nearest cover. You will lose momentum now as you continue to hop, but you will maintain the most momentum if you continue this wide arcing turn instead of trying to do the traditional style of strafing side to side. The latter does work a little, but no way near as much. If trying to hop as much as possible, you need to swing back around in another super wide arcing turn. It's the only way to maintain momentum for longer, but it doesn't always work that well. Interestingly, you can pop Octane Stim and it's far, far easier to keep the B-Hop going for longer, or Bloodhound's Ultimate. I'm certain Bangalore's passive will work similarly. Any other momentum increase can help you to maintain your B-Hop for longer too. Essentially, with each hop, you will lose an amount of momentum. So if you start after a good Pathfinder Grapple, for example, you can go for longer. For this method, you need to let go of the forwards key as you are B-Hopping. It can be hard to master if you are used to the other style of B-Hopping, but it's absolutely necessary. You can watch my other B-Hop guide if you don't understand the basics yet. So ultimately, if you want to B-Hop, it's best to use this style now, using a short two or three hops to get to cover while starting the hill animation. You could also consider using Bangalore or Octane for better B-Hops, or consider using Lifeline so that you can finish the hill quicker. Let's also talk about B-Hopping in general after the latest update. Before, it was hard to maintain a B-Hop speed close to your holstered sprint speed. For some reason, after the latest change, you can now B-Hop faster and sprint sprinting speed. Of course, you aren't going in a straight line, so it's arguable what is faster to get from point A to point B. However, this means that you can actually consistently b-hop to be a harder target to hit now. Not only that, but you can b-hop, then pull out your weapon, and you'll be hitting a velocity of about 290 to 315, which is far higher than the usual 260 velocity of running with a weapon out. This means you can do fast swings around corners into players. For you to get this higher b-hop speed, you need to time your hops perfectly and also be on flat ground ideally. 
so it's not perfect for all situations. On top of this, you need to pull out your weapon after you start the b-hop so you don't slow your momentum before it starts. Typically, the best thing to do is have your mouse scroll up or down set as jump to time hops better. But if you want to be able to shoot whilst hopping without losing momentum, I find binding a key to shoot is a good option. For example, I have it set to spacebar, which means I can hop around corners at fast speed and shoot with a shotgun when I'm close while still moving sporadically. I'm still practicing using b hopping in combat, but now that you can go faster than normal run speed, I'm excited to see how far we can take it. I would imagine that Respawn will nerf this again or try to remove b hopping completely, so make the most of it whilst you still can. What are your thoughts on this guide? Have any questions? Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you in the comments. Cheerio!